Hi everyone, my name is Anna. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about pH and how it keeps your skin healthy and why you should have a basic understanding of it and keep it in mind when it comes to your skincare routine. Now before we get into it, no I'm not 12. Yes, I am licensed to talk about this. I'm not a dermatologist, but I am a full specialist in the state of Florida. And that basically means I work with nails and I also work with skin. So pH is a complex subject that I really don't understand it too much. I know the basics. So I'm going to be telling you guys the basics of what you need to know in order to better take care of your skin. Now the reason why pH is important is because your skin secretes a barrier called the acid mantle. Now as the name suggests, the acid mantle is acidic, which means that your skin is a pH of 4.5 to 5.5. 5.5 being optimal. Now the acid mantle does a couple of things. It keeps your skin from being dehydrated. It protects it from absorbing contaminants and pollutants, which can and will age your skin, dry it, cause sens uh, sensitivity, uh, cause excess oiliness, and acne. Um, another function of the acid mantle is that it does kill, kill bacteria and fungus and keeps it from growing on your skin. Now bacteria and fungus is a one cause, is one type of cause when it comes to acne. So if you have acne prone skin or you have really bad acne, there's a chance your pH is too high and your acid mantle isn't acidic enough to fight off the bacteria. So if you think this is what's happening to you, I would highly suggest you go to a dermatologist's office to check your pH. Because as far as I know, there's no way to test it at home. Um, if there is, link it down below. I would love to check it out. Anyway, so moving on. That is why pH is important when it comes to your skin health. Okay, so now that we understand why it's important, we're going to talk about how to maintain it and um, what your pH for your skincare products should be. Now, average pH for skincare products are 4.5 to 6. And keeping it in this range will help keep your skin in the optimal pH range. So if you use a product that is too high in alkaline that isn't pH dependent, it can cause sensitivity, oily skin, acne prone skin, and sensitivity. So if you have any of these, there's a chance that your acid mantle is damaged and I, again, would recommend you go to a dermatologist to come up with a repair plan. It does take two weeks to repair it and as far as I am aware, only a dermatologist will be able to help you come up with a routine. I'm sure you can come up with it your own by yourself, but as far as I know, that's the best option to go. Anyway, so like I said, the optimal pH for skincare products is 4.5 to 6. Now the exceptions are pH dependent products. And pH dependent products include vitamin C, which needs a lower pH and physical sunscreens, which sits on top of your skin and needs a high alkaline pH. The reason for this is because the zinc oxide in physical sunscreens can deteriorate and cause it to be useless. And as you probably already know, taking care of your skin is so important and protecting it from the sun is super important if you use a physical sunscreen don't worry if it has a high ph because it's meant to okay so as i mentioned you don't want a product that's too alkaline uh which is why you should never use bar soap or just regular soap on your face because it is too alkaline uh, most soaps have an uh ph of 8 to 11 and that can really, really strip your skin and damage your acid mantle. So with that said, a good way to help maintain your acid mantle is to add a toner into your skincare regimen. Now, toners are pH balancing, so it will help your skin, uh, your skin's pH return 
to normal level and it also preps your skin for all the other products it's like a primer for your makeup but this but toners help your skincare products absorb feather all right so that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time bye